Hello, and greetings from the National Park Service. My name is Kamel McLaren, and I'm currently one of four program managers for the National Underground Railroad Network to Freedom Program for the National Park Service. I was also once the former curator for the Frederick Douglass National Historic Site here in Washington, which brings me to share my thoughts with you on the life and times of Frederick Douglass. Douglass was one of this nation's outstanding freedom seekers whose words and ideas have inspired hope, change, and advocacy. His mantra was, I will unite with anybody to do right and nobody to do wrong. Therefore, he aligned himself with men and women of all colors to advocate for many reform movements, including the abolitionist movement, racism, sexism, capital punishment, and many other reform movements in this nation's history. Douglas devoted his life to serving others. It was a lifespan that began in 1818 and ended in 1895. Throughout his illustrious life, he became a freedom seeker, an underground railroad activist, a woman suffragist, and a civic patriotic citizen who used his pen and voice to advocate for freedom for everyone. Students of history must understand that Douglas's life coincided with many of the watershed moments in United States history. The abolitionist movement, the women's suffrage movement, the Underground Railroad, the Civil War and Reconstruction era. So then his life becomes a historical lens for teachers and scholars to examine these periods with great clarity. Hence, they all learn so many lessons from Douglas and the times that he lived. He left the world a lasting legacy through his voice and pen and many forms of activism. His words pierced the American conscious, pointing out the undemocratic elements that ran through the political, social, and economic institutions in the United States during his lifetime. Over 50 years, Douglas delivered thousands of speeches. He penned several editorials and articles in his newspaper, The North Star, The Frederick Douglass Weekly, The Frederick Douglass Paper, The Frederick Douglass Monthly, and finally, The New National Era. Plus, Frederick Douglass found time to publish three autobiographies over the course of his life. One central lesson he teaches students today is how to channel the power of words instead of physical violence to achieve personal freedom, then a selfishly find time to advocate it for others. In 1892, three years before his death, Douglas summed up his life by saying, I too have suffered under slavery. I too have fought for liberty, justice, and freedom and brotherhood and citizenship. As a result, students of today are privileged to examine Douglas's body of work to make sense of their own lives and construct their worldviews inside and outside of the classrooms. His life, his accomplishments, and most importantly, his words and ideas remain sources of inspiration for millions of people worldwide today.